Hi besties and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a very special guest. Hello everyone, Gerardo here. And who are you? I'm her boyfriend, mm -hmm. of course. Yes. <laughs> so this has been a long awaited video. You guys have so many questions for us. So we thought it was finally time for us to answer them. He is going to answer a majority of them because I feel like I have talked about it a lot like on TikTok and everything. So. We're gonna get more of like his point of view yeah. of a lot of these questions. If you guys wanna know a little bit of tea, then just keep on watching. Are you ready for the first question? Mm -hmm. Let's see, it's the first one. <laughs> when did we meet or where did we meet? So, or how we met pretty yeah. much. So how we yeah. met basically what everyone wanted to, you know, wants to, to know. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I had a couple of dating apps um, on my phone and you know I never really was a big fan of dating apps but I decided to try them out um, sometime last year and one specifically was Chispa <laughs> shout and, out Chispa <laughs> <laughs> and one day I came across her profile basically on Chispa and I was like oh who's that you know what I mean? But, um, and she looked familiar as well because, a little more backstory, I had knew, I had previously known Elisa already mm -hmm. because, um, so I did part time modeling back then for like a couple of years and I previously had like known him and I knew her already. And well, he has seen me. I have seen her, yeah. I didn't know specifically, but I've seen her throughout um, Instagram, social media. And after that, I was like, oh, I think that's her when I came across her profile on Chispa. And so I decided to message her on Chispa. And he super liked me. I did a super like. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, um, which I, I never I got to see. She never saw it, I believe. Because I was never, I, at that time, I wasn't really mm -hmm. like on it. I got this is spit out a little bit because <laughs> I wasn't getting. I think I waited like till next day, I believe. Damn, maybe it was only a day. Yeah, and I, I was like, I believe um, I searched her name on Instagram, and I found her, you know, and I messaged her through there, and she responded back, basically, just the telling next her, day, yeah, Instagram? yeah. Or was it the same day that I replied? I think um, the next day, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much how you met. I messaged her through there. She responded back. I was like, and <laughs> um, yeah, we just started talking from there, messaging each other on Instagram until the day came that we went on our first yeah. date, which was what just uh, like a week huh, later. Yeah, because that week cause you were out. that he messaged me, I was gonna go on a trip, so we weren't really like talking much until I came back, right? And then he ended up asking me to go get dinner. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. let's go. <laughs> and we went, you know, for state dinner. Mm -hmm. And the rest from there is history, basically. Just we started talking and kept talking basically ever since that day. And yeah, that's pretty much how we and met. And now we've been inseparable since. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's pretty much how we met. Um, I pretty much have the same story, same side as him. So, yay. Okay, next question. Who was interested first? So I guess that we already kind of answered yeah, that. Maybe you're the one that- I wasn't obviously interested first. And, yeah. you know, I took the initiative to- Mm-hmm. After okay. I saw that I had a response back, you know, I took the initiative to go on Instagram and message her through there. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I replied was because I had already seen him like when Ulises posted him in 2019. And when I saw that he messaged me, I was like, mm, he looks a little familiar. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, she recognized me as well yeah. because from that um, specific event. Because mm -hmm. I thought he was really cute. So I was like, mm. but nothing obviously happened yeah. up until last year. Years later. Yeah. Oh, yes. Destiny and the world works basically. Yeah, I've heard of the red string theory that we were mm -hmm. always connected. It's just so crazy, but things happen when it's yeah. supposed to happen. I feel like I came at a time where 
we needed each other mm -hmm. the most and that was a specific that was you know last year i just feel like god works that way and destiny just in general works that way yeah you know you're supposed to meet the person that god you know allows you to meet the person at the right time yeah and it was the right time for yeah. sure yeah at least for me yeah for me too yeah. yeah it was it was our time for sure okay things we like about one another you can go first and then I'll <laughs> so i don't have a specific thing but i have many things i like about her and one of them is um how she's very attentive and caring for me like she likes to make sure i'm good how I'm feeling um, when I'm hungry. She like, like I cook anything. She's like an amazing chef. Like literally she can make anything and it's so bomb. The food is so bomb. I like how she, basically she's attentive, caring and that makes me like really happy and like warms my heart because I feel like, not just me, I feel like people, you know, guys in general would want, you know, a girl like that. And I'm lucky to have her because I feel like I've always wanted, you know, someone to be like caring and attentive for me and make sure I'm doing good because of the saying that the saying they're saying out there that's pretty um I think it's you know true is that behind every man is a great woman behind him. So I feel like this is the case. Okay. <laughs> Something you guys should know about my man here, he's so so emotional. Are you gonna be crying? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's down for me, mm -hmm. I'm down for her. And I just feel like, you know, that's just really attractive and really like, good to have, you know, someone's gonna ride, ride and die for you and just be down for you and, and has those, you know, wife, mother qualities, you know, that just, just really special to have. <laughs> <laughs> about him i like how he's very patient number one just because i feel like i'm a lot to handle sometimes and he's just there like he lets me be he's very patient he's very caring kind he's always making sure that i'm trying to be good you know he's always asking me are you okay i'm here so like like we said god knew when to bring him into my life because i really needed somebody like him like, he's so amazing, honestly. Like, you guys think just off of the little clips you guys see on social media, but he, this man is amazing. And I'm very grateful to have somebody like him. On to the next question. It's about one another. So, this question, I don't really... You don't have any icks? I'm just It was purpose. difficult for me to answer because I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't have... She doesn't have any icks, I feel like. The only things I could think about when it comes to eggs is like, I guess different foods that I don't like that she likes. That seafood. makes me ick, you know, like I made that asshole sometimes. Specifically seafood. <laughs> yeah, which makes me so sad because I love seafood. Yeah, and that's pretty much like the only eggs I could think of. Mm -hmm. Like besides that, we don't really have... Do you have any eggs about me? Maybe that the fact that you don't want to try all the foods that I like. Yeah. I think that's... I feel like we haven't found, like, those icks. And I feel like those things don't come up until, like, later on in the years. Maybe when we're living yeah. together. You think so? Maybe once we're living together, oh. I feel like that's when we're going to really, like, get to know each other. Like, know each other. Yeah. You know? Right? That's true, yeah. Once you, like, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like we every haven't gotten into that Like, stage. the daily life and everything together. Yeah. Like, every single moment. Like, like we yeah. haven't experience that so i feel like we haven't found like a specific like ick besides the fact that he doesn't like trying a lot of foods and that frustrates me because i wish i could cook a lot of different one different meals but i know he's not gonna like it so it's like it's difficult i think there is one ick though okay, for what? you about me what feet oh my god that's the only thing i could think of feet that she i don't have an ick but that she has an ick of that. i don't like him touching me with my feet yeah that's it. Like for me, I don't mind. Like I'm not like into feet or attracted to feet. Like you know. Yeah, but I'm he doesn't like mind them. But like I don't mind it, you know. Yeah. But she really doesn't like. I don't like it. Like basically, me like wiggling my toes or like having my feet like close to her. 
Yeah. Like barefoot, basically. Yeah. Especially when it's barefoot. With socks on, it's fine, right? Yeah, with socks, but like, I'll, I'll touch his feet and everything. But when he's barefoot, like, I don't like it. Like, I don't even like him wearing sandals. And I know, like, I know that's not... What are we going to do with that? For the summer? Especially, like, yeah, especially when it comes to summer. That's not wear sandals. I'm going to be no. wearing my no. sand working socks. <laughs> I'm going to wear socks. You know what I mean? You're wearing socks right now with the Birkenstocks. I know, but like this is hotter. I'm not gonna Wear shorts I'm gonna and a tank top. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. But yeah, I don't think there's any other... Not. You not wear <laughs> chanclas. That's the only thing. But yeah, I don't think we have any ics about each other. Well, at least I don't, do you? I'm mm -hmm. trying to really no, think. I'm like I'm trying to like really sit here and think. Like, is there anything that bothers who me? Who is that gross me out sometimes? Oh, I have one ick. That I can like really think of that just like I feel like I always mention it to you. He is obsessed with his phone. He is obsessed with his phone. And it's not like he's talking to anybody. No, he's literally watching scores for soccer, wrestling, for baseball, like that's lit football, like that's literally like his obsession. And that's fine, but it's just it's a little too much. But that's about it, honestly. That I can really like sit here and think of that. I'm like Ugh. I just have to know what's going on, basically. He likes being very day. aware of everything in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, he likes to know these things. Like, what's happening in China, Africa, everything, huh? Weather, politics, mm -hmm. sports, um, trends, whatever. I don't know, whatever it is. I like to know what's happening, like, you know, on a daily basis. I, mean, I feel like it's important, though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, especially for, like, my, like, background when I, like, like media and stuff like that mm -hmm. and communications it's like obviously you, you know, need to know these things yeah you need to know these mm -hmm. things so like i got used to knowing these things and being alert and aware of like everything right. going on and stuff like that I but i try my best it. to like i guess do it a little bit less when i'm yeah. up there basically mm -hmm. and little, he's gotten better by little He's gotten better for sure. And I think it's just because I'm always like, get mm -hmm. off your phone. Why are you always on your phone? But it's okay. He still pays attention to me, so that's all that matters. How did we know that we were the one? Like, how did you know I was the one? How did I know you were the one? This one. Damn. This one I know because I remember she's asked me this a couple of times. And I told her a couple of times too. So, like, for me, I knew she was the one because... Um... And basically the first time I told her I love her, I knew that she was the one that moment. Um, we were out and yeah, we were out and about with Modesto, I believe, having a couple of drinks at downtown Modesto. And um, I believe it was um, the week of, was it the week of? Yeah, of the September, the week of the, the Independence, Mexico independence. Because <laughs> I remember I had a Mexico shirt on. So what? I'm trying to figure out. That's what you remember it as that day? Hmm? The week of Mexico independence. That day, when I think of that day, I think of. Um... The week of Mexico independence. What do you think of that day or week, whatever? Then we went to go celebrate that you got your job. <laughs> Did you forget about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about when I think about that day. Well, basically, I knew at that moment when the first time I told her I loved her, um, because I. So now you guys like, know that answer too. He's the one who told me he mm -hmm. loves me first. <laughs> I feel like I told her that. I knew because when I was with her, my whole world like, just stops, and it's just you and that person. Nothing else around you matters, and. Every time you're with that person, you don't want the night, the day to end. And you just want to, like, you just wish it was, like, a, like, nonstop, like, cycle of, like, just you being with that person and not wanting it to end or leave each other. So that's basically when, when I knew that she was the one. Mm -hmm. When I felt that, and, and that's something I always wanted. So, um... That's why I knew. That's why I told her I loved her that, that time. And we were like day. a month in, huh? Mm -hmm. Really like a month in, yeah. Which I feel like that's like something that, you know, 
everyone should aim for. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's rare to find. That's why maybe people might find like dating this and that difficult because just you might want to feel those things, but you just don't. But when you do, then that's when you know. And if everything's going well and if everything, vibing, everything's clicking at the right time, then it's like that's when you know. And in our case, that was you know, that's what happened, and that's why I knew that she was the one. <laughs> For me, it was a little bit actually before that, and I don't think I have even told him, huh? No, I don't think so. Of when I, I felt it, we, yeah. So for me, it was literally like, yeah, we were we had barely like hit a month, and he, I was in LA, and he came to see me in LA for Labor Day weekend, and um, he was coming to meet Blanca and my aunt Viv and Ulisa. Well, he already met Ulisa's, but he was gonna go specifically to meet my aunt. Um, so I feel like at that moment, that's when I knew like things were gonna start getting serious because I have never brought any man to meet my family. Just like little like situationships, I guess, but like an actual real thing, never. So I felt like that was very like important to me. And, and I believe I met, and I was meeting her aunt before I met Right? Your parents? Yeah, he Tomorrow. met my aunt before he met my parents. <laughs> well, you actually had met my sister. Oh, yeah, yeah. He met my sister like a week after our first date. And I feel like that's when I was already kind of feeling it too because he went out of his way. It wasn't anything big, but he went to go get something for my sister for her birthday. And we were only mm -hmm. like a week talking. So when he did that, I was like, damn. Like, he didn't have to do that, but he went out of his way to do it. And I just... I don't know. Like my sister's there. I'm gonna cry. Okay. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, my sister's everything to me. So like the fact that he just did that, like I don't know, like that just made me be like, damn, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so then after that, I was like, okay, like things are gonna get serious with him. And then I ended up going to LA, like I said, and then he came for Labor Day weekend, and we went to go dance. Like on the Sunday, it was Sunday, right? Um, we went to go dance and I just feel like I had such an amazing time with him. Like it was so fun and I love dancing. Like dancing is just everything to me. So it's like- And when you found out that I could dance? Yes, and then when he was <laughs> dancing and like he was just there vibing with me, I was just like, yep, this is it. This is it. And then we went to go have lunch with um, my aunts and Lisa's and the kids and my aunt fell, fell in love with him. Like, I love your man. Like, after he left, she was like, you better not fuck this up. And, like, I feel like that's when I knew that, like, I wanted him in my life forever. So, yeah, similar. Yeah, um, similar. Around close, close, you know, similar dates. Yeah. Like, not too far Mine apart was the first other. week of September. His was, like, two weeks after mm -hmm. that. So, and then a couple, and then I think like two weeks after that, after he told me he loved me, he ended up asking me to be his girlfriend. So, everything was quick. It all happened very like, t -t 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 yeah. fast. But I feel like when you know, you just know. You know, like, at least for me, like I said, I have never brought anybody around my family because I never felt like they were worth bringing around. And he was very different from like other people that I have been with, you know? That made me want to like really have him around my family and meet everyone. So, yeah. I'm different. Huh? <laughs> I'm different. Yes, we really are different. <clears throat> How do you feel about me being on social media? Let's let's hear this because I actually have never asked him. Yeah, I mean, before you asked me, I feel like in the first beginning, talking, you yeah. like were like. You know, like try to like warn, make me aware. You know, mm -hmm. this and that. Yes, because in the beginning of our relationship, I was very against posting very him. Private when it came to like yeah, us. Yeah, I wanted to keep it very private and just to myself. Well, just to us, just because people on social media they're very mean and they have a lot of comments, and I don't like that. And especially when it comes to like people that I care about, I never wanted him to like see something, and it bother him. But he doesn't really care what people say, honestly. Mm -mm. On social media specifically, obviously. So on this question, I 
um, cause, because she's asked me in the past about it, made me aware of it, and because she was like private when we first started talking, and that's why she never like you know posted me or anything until later on, um, when we talked about it more and I like, feel more comfortable basically, and especially her when she felt more comfortable because she knows how the ins and outs in this. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I would always tell her that um, that I would I don't mind. Before like she was skeptical on posting me and this and each other it's like i told her that i understand where you're coming from i never i never pressured her i never mm -hmm. like did anything because i knew where she was coming from and i know how it can be because i know how how it is and um so like i told her that take your time whenever you feel like you're comfortable and ready basically and that's what i think about like basically about social media in general and about if if you guys are curious how I feel like it would affect me if I like see certain things, but like me thinking about her being on there, it's um like I don't think that much any different, you know, no. because I look at it as like a as a creative you know creative hobby, creative job, you know, and it's like at the end of the day, it's like it's basically what she's known and what she's good at, so. Yeah. He's pretty much saying I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but she's awesome. Yeah. But yeah. It was a it was a big struggle in the beginning, honestly. Cause he never pressured me like he said mm -hmm. to post him or anything like that. But me, I'm such an overthinker and <laughs> I was such an overthinker, so I feel like I was just thinking about like everything and anything. Like I was just like, this is gonna go wrong. This is gonna happen. Like I'm scared about this. Mm -hmm. I'm scared about that. And he was just telling me like, I don't care. Like at the end of the day, what matters is what our families think about one another, or like what we think about each other. Mm -hmm. Like everything else is irrelevant. But me in my mind, I was like, but it is relevant because of this and this and this and that. Yeah, well, you know? because of the how she like. She's yeah. in it, basically, mm -hmm. and she, like, when people are in it, I feel like it's, like, it's like that. Mm -hmm. It's hard for them to do, to separate both things. Yeah. Like, social from media someone, from reality. For someone from outside looking in, it's, like, you know, you know that it's um, two separate things, and you're able yeah. to separate them. Yeah. But I feel like it's a lot better now, and I feel more free being able to, like, just post them and stuff because like there was this one time we went to where were we at modesto and there was a girl recording us remember mm -hmm. and i was just so bothered because i was just like what if she posts it on social media this is where like before anything. yeah this was before i hadn't even posted him so i was just like stressing out about that because i was like that's just so disrespectful for somebody to, to invade my privacy like that like i know we were out in public but it's like what was the reason to record um but yeah i was just very hesitant but i'm glad that we're over that because this would not be happening right now if i had <laughs> imposed him huh yeah so things played out very well so it's okay next question plans of moving in together so the only reason i put this one in is because surprisingly i was getting a lot of them like a lot of you guys wanted to know if we're gonna move in together or if we live together at the moment and yeah an answer yeah um, for this question, I feel like we talked about it before, mm -hmm. here and there, um, and I think that the art plans, for sure, mm -hmm. and um, maybe, like, soon, probably, for sure, um, yeah. but yeah, we talked about it, and I think that we both discussed that we would like to yeah. move in and experience living together. living together. Yeah, but I feel like we're both trying to reach certain goals personally right and then we'll decide if we want to move in together in the future near future hopefully um but as of right now no we're not living together or anything like that we're just we like being together all the time so we're mm -hmm. always together um but yeah hopefully in the in the near future like i said we'll um move that in together comes, yeah. mm -hmm. when god wants it to happen you know and so, we're both like obviously mentally ready and like motion yeah. ready we also didn't want to rush into it because moving in together is such a like huge huge step like 
that's a whole nother level of our yeah. relationship. So I feel like we wanted to take our time. It's taking a big step. Yeah. yeah. So we just wanted to take our time and like really date each other before we took that step to live together. Because once you live together, that's it. That's it. You really get to know somebody like that. So, yeah, we just wanted to wait until the time was right. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Ask them final question. You ready, babe? Favorite memory so far? So for this question, like, I don't have one specific memory. For me, it's hard to have, just have one specific favorite food, one specific favorite memory. <laughs> like... I have like there's so many because yeah, huh? so many <laughs> um but when it comes to memory favorite memory of, her, of like her of us i have top three comes to my mind and I think you have three i think t these top three are the ones like comes to my mind first and first one obviously was something that fuck <laughs> <laughs> The first one's like very special for me because it's something that I never done before, like relationship wise for anybody. And that was when I first um, asked her out and I brought a mariachi basically to her house and basically to her parents and, um, you know, asked her to be my girlfriend basically. <laughs> and. That's like my favorite one because I've never done it before and I, when I was planning it, you know, I was like, you know, I knew it was going to be special, but I didn't want it to be, you know, extra special. So when I thought of everything, um, how I wanted to do it, you know, I was a little bit nervous at first because I never did, never done anything like that, but um, I knew I wanted to because I knew that she was the one and because she just she deserved it so um that's why probably, probably my favorite one because yeah like my first astronaut would be my girlfriend and the way it happened the way i did it i never done before and i thought it was really special and i just feel like looking when, every time i look back on that you know it makes me happy and makes me um proud to see like that how everything went down and how she was surprised too and everything when she because she wasn't expecting it when I brought my dad over to her house. <laughs> and then probably second so remember after that, probably um um I probably say the surprising her for Disneyland, I think. My second memory for memory lying. because I feel like <laughs> just Disneyland's a like fun, special place. Mm -hmm. Especially like for couples. Yeah. And I never, every time I've gone to Disneyland was with my family. Mm -hmm. I never gone there with like significant utter anything. Um, so, me, my first time spending Disneyland with my significant other, and um, just I think that was special. How way I you guys, you know, seen TikTok, mm -hmm. I posted a basically a surprise. As a, when I asked her out, that's probably like the first surprise I've done. That was. It was the like, first surprise I've like Disneyland. I've done to her. Disneyland, yeah. And it was just so natural and like so like, like, genuine. Genuine that like, it just everything how it happened and seeing like her like couldn't believe it either. And so I think that's my favorite memory of like at the surprise itself and then spending of course um, um a couple of days at Anaheim and Disneyland. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fun. Yeah. And my. Probably other memory is would be um, going to Mexico with her. I think that's probably that. Those are the top three. Yeah. Yeah. The third one going to Mexico with her. Um, just everything that we did over there. Um, the whole experience. And also, like I never, you know, I feel like these are special to me too because I've never done like these trips like that with like. Significant other, you know, it's always like family trips, so just by myself. This is the first time I've experienced like trips like these, trips like this with like someone else. Mm -hmm. And I think just being with her and going with her to Mexico um, was special because I got to see a little bit of her family side, you know, Michoacan, Guanajuato, mm -hmm. and then 
she was able to experience some of my side as well in high school. So um, I think just that was like amazing, beautiful. Mexico's beautiful, of course. And then just everything we did, you know, las fiestas, you know, it was, it was a good time, you know, a little over, a little over two weeks, huh? That we spent yeah. basically mm -hmm. over there. Like, yeah, almost three. Mm -hmm. And it just, you know. Because we missed our flight. But. <laughs> I should do no, that's not good. Is that long enough video to do another video? Of how we missed our oh flight God, back. That was so horrible. One day we'll do a little story yeah. time some somehow, but because that trip was just something else. But. Yeah, it was a roller coaster towards yeah. the end. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, the, probably that trip was my other favorite memory. Yeah. What about you? Do you have? No, I don't really have any. Memory? I don't really have any favorites. <laughs> Okay, so for me, it was going to be when you asked me to be mm -hmm. your girlfriend. Just because it was, I never expected anything like that. Like, I thought, like, he would take me to dinner and just ask me. But the fact that he went out of his way to, like, wanting to get my parents blessing, my mom and my dad, and bringing the mariachi, like, it was just such a huge surprise. Like, I would have never expected that. And like I said, like, He's such an amazing man and he always goes out of his way to try to make me as happy as I can be, you know? And he does make me very happy. So, yeah, it was, that one is like my top number one. Like, I don't think anything has beat that yet. But also Mexico is like one of my favorite memories because we did get to do a lot. We got to explore, we got to be with each other's family. Like we got to know each other in a different level because obviously we were together every day, all day. So it was like, It was very different, but I enjoyed every single minute. Even the little arguments, even the little petty <laughs> shit, it was all worth it because I had such a great time. Like we did a lot, and we got to experience a lot. So oh, that was fun. yeah, it was a very very fun trip. But I feel like those are like my top two that like I absolutely loved every moment of it. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully more fun memories to come yeah definitely. there's so many i feel like honestly we have done a lot we've been doing a lot like we go and he went to his first bad bunny concert mm -hmm. you know that was also something fun that we got to do so yeah. we get to do we've been doing a lot of stuff so hopefully in the future god willing like we're able to experience more and make more memories together so yeah yeah pretty much pretty much it huh? yeah those are honestly all the questions that we were getting like the most um so yeah but if you guys have any more questions comment down below we'll try to answer them in another video you guys will be seeing more of his lovely face hopefully yeah can't wait so you tune for more videos yes because there's so much coming we're going on trips we're doing a lot of fun stuff this year so You guys are going to be seeing a lot of us, so I hope you guys don't get tired of us. I really hope so. Are you excited? I am. Yeah? You. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, getting to know each other. I mean, know each other. N getting to know us a little bit more, getting to know him a little bit more, because I feel like you guys are always asking so much. Um, but, yeah. Anything you want to say? No, just hope you guys enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And... Stay tuned for more videos and <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> bye.